The House of the Dead is a first-person shooter arcade game that was first released by Sega in 1996. You can play as Agent G or Agent Thomas Rogan on a mission to take down the mad scientist Dr. Kirian. In this series, I'll be taking an in-depth look at the main characters and zombies from the game. Unlike Resident Evil, characters from House of the Dead are less popular so it's time to shine some light on them. Thomas Rogan is the top agent of AMS, which stands for American Government Agency. Rogan has been codenamed Eager Eagle. At times, he is a hothead and flies off the handle, but knows what to do in a situation, always making the right decision. In 1998, Thomas would get engaged to researcher Sophie Richards. Because of her working on a top project involving biologically engineered creatures in Dr. Curian's mansion, Thomas had met the doctor several times. On December 18, 1998, the Kyrian mansion was placed under scrutiny due to a team of special forces and DBR staff disappearing. Shortly after, Thomas receives a disturbing phone message from Sophie before losing contact with her. After two days of discussions, the AMS sent Thomas and Agent G to the Kyrian mansion. We won't let you have it your way, Curian. They arrive at the mansion to find it overrun with Dr. Curian's experiments. They locate Sophie and she is running towards them when a huge bat-like creature called the Hanged Man scoops her up and flies away. Sophie! Later on, Thomas and G do gun down the Hanged Man, but unfortunately another experiment called Chariot ambushes Sophie, presumably killing her. Sophie! The two agents track down Dr. Kirian to confront him about what he's done. He then escapes to his laboratory, leaving behind his spider-like creation named Hermit to take out Thomas and G. After this battle and blasting their way to the secret laboratory, the two corner Dr. Kirian. There's no way out, Kirian. This time, Curian awakens his masterpiece experiment called the Magician. The creature turns on the doctor and kills him. This leads into the final battle of the House of the Dead. Thomas and G have a hard fought bout with the Magician. With the leadership of Thomas and the swift movements of Agent G, they finally slay the Magician. The two have now accomplished their mission for the AMS. Luckily, Sophie survived the brutal attack, and two years later, Thomas and Sophie got married and gave birth to their daughter named Lisa Rogan. During this same year, a second infestation occurred in an unnamed city. This was caused by Caleb Goldman, who took over after the death of Dr. Kirian. It's unknown how much Thomas Rogan was involved in this case. This takes place in the House of the Dead too. AMS agents Gary Stewart and James Taylor take on the case. After defeating one of Goldman's creations called the Emperor, they run into Thomas at the entrance of Goldman's lab. He quickly assures them that his partners G and Harry Harris are safe because they were both injured during the breakout. He then tells the two agents that it's time for the next battle. 18 years later, humanity has fallen and the AMS are no more. During House of the Dead 3, Thomas Rogan, now 52 years old and retired, begins to investigate the cause of the world's downfall. Forming a secret division of military commandos along with tactical expert Dan Taylor, the team determines that the abandoned EFI research facility was the source of the apocalypse. During a raid of the facility, Thomas was severely injured by a huge powerful creature named Death. Luckily, Dr. Curian's son Daniel rescues Thomas before he is killed. He explains to them that Daniel saved him and that he is on their side. G stays behind with his partner Thomas to take care for his wounds. 
I leave everything in your hands. Remember, Lisa, believe in yourself, no matter what happens. Lisa and Daniel then go on to destroy Will of Fate and save humanity. After leaving the facility, Thomas thanks G for his help over the years. G then asks Thomas whether this mission would change anything. He seems unsure before saying they had done their part, stating that the future was left to people like Daniel and his daughter Lisa. Now that we have went through the main storylines involving Thomas Rogan, I want to discuss some interesting facts about the character. In the original arcade version of the game, he wears a long brown detective coat with a pale brown suit and white shirt, along with light brown slacks and shoes. However, if you're playing on a console like the Sega Saturn, his attire is altered with him now sporting a brown suit with gray pants. Thomas Rogan was inspired by Detective David Mills from the crime thriller 7, who was played by Brad Pitt. In House of the Dead 2, you can play as Thomas Rogan in original mode by selecting a different costume. In the Sega Dreamcast game, Typing of the Dead, Thomas is one of the characters you will fight against. Thomas Rogan is a very smart agent who is full of courage. He knows how to get the job done and is an excellent leader. Goodbye, Kyrian. Farewell, Sophie. I hope you enjoyed this in-depth look on the character, and let me know who we should explore next in the comment section down below. If you'd like to help support the channel and watch exclusive ad-free content, visit patreon.com slash stayuplateproductions. See you guys next time. Have a good day.